I wanted to also just ask Jonah, just to, if you can give us a sense about your your experience of growing up here in San Francisco, um, what that was and continues to be for you. So, um, growing up in San Francisco, I went to a Jewish day school, and um, being the only one of the only African American Jewish kids in the day school was um, pretty interesting just because like people kind of looked at you different and um, thought about you differently but the Holoshone definitely made me feel more accepted in basically everything about my life because the Holoshone kind of worked with my school also and that definitely made all the like different races of people in my school definitely feel more accepted in general. And, um, you know, I think y you certainly know, we all know that we live in a world where sometimes people want to put labels on people and sometimes those labels are convenient mm -hmm. and sometimes those labels really don't even reflect the depth of who any individual person is. And I'm just wondering, just in your 15 years here in San Francisco, sort of um, a little bit about how that works for you personally, for yourself. Well, at Brandeis, um, because I went to that school, everyone assumed that I was Jewish, and I was, but um, now that I'm in high school, um, people put different labels on me that I wouldn't have expected at Brandeis, like based on religion or where I live or like rituals that I do, and I like to identify myself as just an African-American Jew, and... Um, People that don't know me usually think I'm either Christian or, say, Muslim, just because of my skin tone. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely in interesting to um, see the difference of when I'm in my like Jewish community, the Holoshon community, and outside of that community. Jonah, Diane, thank you so much.